Meanwhile, Mike McFarlane lines up for the uh, next heat. This is heat for the 100 metres, and that injury, that groin injury to Voronin has gone round the stadium like a shockwave. There's the lineup. He's got Brigian, the new Soviet fine, in lane three. The full lineup. There's Philip Snoddy of Ireland. He runs in lane one. Next to him is Arke of Spain, uh, wearing 751. Then the Soviet record order. When we get a chance to see him, 869. There he is. Big, powerful fella. Soviet champion. 1003 is run. Next to him is Christiansen of Norway, 1064 man, who could be struggling a bit. Then Mike McFarlane. 26 now, bronze in the Commonwealth 100, fifth in the Olympic Games 100, 85 European Indoor Champion. That's Christian Mark of Austria, 10.42 his best. And the West German 19-year-old, who was fourth in the World Junior Championships, he was quite impressive out there in Athens, that's Matthias Schlick. So Michael McFarlane. Shared with Alan Wells that 1982 Commonwealth 200 metre title they couldn't separate them second in the three A's knows that sprinting has moved on in Great Britain it's very tough at the top but he's battled for a place here one of Britain's uh, most consistent international sprinters now McFarlane it's a good start Mark does as well. McFarlane moving. RK of Spain is going away. Brigin too. Brigin of the Soviet Union is going to be there first. Then Michael McFarlane looks across to see that uh, RK of Spain was second. McFarlane was safe in third. Brig uh, Brigin's time 10.36. All around about the same. Anna Wells 10.31. We've had a 10.34, 10.36. And this is Brigin, uh, the 23-year-old teacher from the Soviet Union wearing red. He was the winner against East Germany, and we've already seen their best man uh, get up, so they'll meet again. Ark in the uh, blue and red of Spain on his left, and McFarlane looks across, having checked that the West German, Schlitt on this side, is not a danger. Settles for third place there, although he would have to run a bit better, but he looks confident and comfortable, walks away knowing for sure that he's in the next round. John Isaacs, his coach, will be watching this very closely. Good chance to see him in slow motion, full of determination, blowing and breathing. And that's uh, not unusual, uh, or at least it's not exactly common. A lot of sprinters out there for only 10 seconds, just take one breath and hold it there. He's a puffer and panter. Now he's starting to relax. The hard work's over with. Checks it over, and all is well for Mike McFarlane. 